Welcome, my beautiful souls. Uh, today we are going to do a reading for Aquarius. This is going to be for Aquarius Sun, Moon, and Rising. Um, definitely for those intuitively guided, which, you know, I speak about this all the time, but I feel more and more just trusting their intuition as it relates to a reading. And what I mean by that is you may not even know if you have Aquarius in your chart, but something is calling you to the reading. That's your spirit guides. Um, because I read through this, like the cards are a tool to help ignite my, it, my intuition, um, and to really open me up to my guides who then connect to your guides. So, um, that's why a reading can resonate with so many different people. Your guides are going to let you hear the messages that are meant for you. Um, so you may also be in love with an Aquarius. Same thing. Just trust your guides. You know, they know you're here. And um, I say for everyone, just try to be open. Be open to whatever the reading talks about. Um, these are really special readings that I'm doing. I'm only doing readings that I'm really being called to, like the signs. Um, I've taken like a mental break. And what I mean by that is, you know, like when you have a channel, it's like, all right, you got to get December readings all done. You got it, you know, November is January's. Um, and I've kind of just taken a break from that. And I'm just allowing my intuition to tell me what reading, who needs a reading. And um, we'll find out why through all this. Um, so again. Aquarius, sun, moon, rising, those intuitively guided, um, those in love with the, an Aquarius platonically, romantically, it doesn't matter. Again, your guides know you're here. And definitely feel free to ask your guides for signs of confirmation. That can be through numbers, through names. Um, you know, if you got a radio playing, a song may come on, uh, you know, whatever it may be. Again, just being open. Uh, so let's go ahead and get into the reading. We're going to use a few different decks here. And the reason why I use all these decks is I really look at a reading as, well, first of all, it's like you're a movie. Um, you're the character, you know, in this movie. Um, and then, you know, all the people who have their, their, their roles, let's say, within your life. Uh, so that's really how I look at a reading. Um, but I also look at it as levels. Like this is the first level, Mother Mary. And then we're going to do the Major Arcanas, which will be the second level. Actually, let me show you. So we'll be using a Major Arcanas. I use those more for like bullet points. Um, but I have to say, they've definitely been telling their own message along with, you know, the main spread. I brought out the Romance Angels in case romance comes up. We are going to use the Gilded Tarot to clarify or go deeper. And deep we go. That's why the readings are long. Um, well, I don't think they're long. You know, I feel like they're just what they need to be, whatever time that is. We're going to use the Light Seers for your main spread. Interesting, because that's not normally a deck I call for you, um, but it called to me. So, all right. So let's go ahead and start with Mother Mary. I think I gave him a cut, but never hurts to do it again. I'm going to go ahead and bring the screen down. All right. Well, tenderness. Tenderness. I am both gentle and powerful. That's the Empress's energy. Gentle and powerful. Loving, but strong. Definitely the, the Empress's energy. Um, it feels like this is just calling for you to bring out that part of you. Like the Empress within yourself, male or female, by the way. Um, but tenderness also. So something may be calling for a little tenderness right now. I may take a Mother Mary card at the end. We'll see how it goes. Um, all right, let's bring in the Gilded Tarot. And although they're not easy to shuffle, because there's not that many, we'll give them a shuffle and a cut. And let's 
go ahead and begin with the major arcanas. So the major arcanas, I don't really read them as signs. I'm really reading the energy, though I will give you the sign. All right, we have the strength card, card Leo. And then Leo's neighbor, Virgo, the hermit. I feel like there's something you've been learning. Um, it feels like an inner type of lesson. You know, like I, I feel like what you're finding is your spirituality. Uh, clearer than probably than it's ever been. I feel like you definitely are going through like this healing stage or you had been going through a healing stage. You know, I'm, I'm noticing the infinity sign on the strength card as above, so below, no beginning, no end. To me, that just means there's nothing you cannot get through. Um, and then the hermit, you know, the hermit can talk about going through like the dark night of the soul. I feel like the hermit is really seeking the light within the darkness. And I feel what the hermit realizes is that I am the light. I am my light. I am my own savior. You know, I can get myself out of things, you know, evolve. Um, and the hermit's lantern is looking outwardly. So it's like, this tells me you already have the wisdom of the hermit. Um, and that can talk about, you know, you may have gone through a period of time where maybe it was solitude, you know, where you pulled yourself away from others. Um, but I feel like you needed this time. Because there's something you were overcoming. Um, and again, it feels like it might have been like an inner struggle. But I do feel like you overcome it. Um, let's also remember that eights talk about new beginnings. All right. We have the world. So something has completed. A chapter has completed. And another chapter is opening up. I love the hermit's lantern illuminating the world for you. You know, it's like you're taking your experiences, your wisdom, all that you've learned, everything that you've gained, and you're bringing it into this next chapter. It feels very different than what you like, what you've been going through. Again, I feel like some of you have been going through some hard lessons, um, but it may be just so you you understand that you really are your own savior, that you are, you know, you do carry this light. And I often feel that the hermit's energy is very healing, right? It's like once I figure these things out, once these the big questions that the hermit asks, you know, and they're usually spiritual, but for this earthly plane, um, receives those answers. And again, it may be like I had to go, you know, I had to put myself in solitude for a while. But anyway, so there's a new chapter opening. We have the devil, card of Capricorn. And then we have justice, card of Libra. Interesting how both of them, well, I guess his tail is a sword. Interesting, I never noticed that before. And then you have the sword, and both of them are up with injustice. Justice can certainly talk about cutting a ties. You know, something has made you feel unbalanced. And I do feel like that's the case because justice is mirroring the strength card. So something has, you know, has kept you in somewhat of an unbalanced state. Um, you know, some of you could have been dealing with like, like some type of an addiction. Um, but when I say an addiction, it doesn't have to mean like to, you know, to like weed or to pills or alcohol. It could just be, you know, where you've really been learning about yourself Interesting with the devil here, because the devil can certainly cast delusions. And um, it can also talk about temptations. And that's kind of what I feel it's talking about here. Like, you know, these maybe lower vibrational temptations. And maybe I've given into them. Um, but I no longer want to. I know I no longer want to. 
So using that sword of justice to cut whatever ties. And what that does is it immediately balances you. You know, when you see justice in a reading, remember, justice's main job is to make you whole again. It's what's fair and just in your world. But that sword is something like we have to learn to use, you know, like we have to know when it's time to cut ties. We have to understand if there's just been like lower temptations that I keep getting pulled into. What can I do so that doesn't happen anymore? And I feel like that's what I'm figuring out in the hermit. You know, I'm a lot stronger than I thought I was. By the way, when I say I, I mean you. Um, and, and that's because I just literally am taking on your energy. All right, let's bring out the light seers. I don't know if I even told you that. Oh. Look at that. The world. It's like I wanted you to see the world again. We're going to put it back in the deck, though, but I could talk about two people starting a new chapter. You know, like two people starting a new chapter, um, but probably unaware of the other. Could also talk about two different elements in your life. That are changing, but I feel like again, whatever change is happening here definitely feels like for the better. Because I feel like you're overcoming. You know, you are starting to see the light again. You're you're seeing the light at the end of the tunnel. Um, you know, the sun is shining again. Okay. Let's bring in the light seers. And let's go another level. So, again, starting with Mother, Mother Mary, I am both gentle and powerful. I feel like that's what the strength card was, was helping you to figure that out. We have the Page of Cups. We have justice again. We'll talk about these. I just want to get this line out. We have the star right under the world. Justice over, under the hermit and the page of pentacles. I'm sorry, the page of cups under the strength card. <clears throat> it's funny. I said I was going to wait to talk about these, but I have to say, I feel like first with the Page of Cups, this is your inner child. This is like, this is you connecting to your higher self. Um, I feel like something may have happened where, you know, you feel like you took an injury to your inner child. Um, something. Something. Something or someone that you really did have to overcome. It's interesting, though, because... Here, Justice has her sword raised. Here, her sword is balanced. So, I feel like it's balanced. So, this means you're now balanced. And I feel like it's because of the Hermit's energy. It's because I was willing to go deep. I was willing to look at the dark side. You know, my dark side. and But also the light. And then the star. This is about your hopes, your dreams, your wishes. But this is about manifesting them. And I love that she's looking right at the world. So I feel like, you know, something of a dream feels like it's about to come true. I feel like your higher self is like, my dear, I'm right with you. We can overcome this. You know, it, it feels like you're connecting to your higher self. You may not know that. You may not use those 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 words or those terms. But I do feel it like, like I'm connected. At least your higher self is connecting to you. Let's put it that way. 
Um, but I do feel like you're finding like real answers and I do feel like you're understanding like, you know, what, what areas I need to use that sword in so that I can move into this next chapter, you know, walk into this next porter, porter, portal and actually see my dreams come true. So something's about to come true. Um, by the way, Page of Cups can certainly represent a younger um, Scorpio, Cancer, or Pisces. But, you know, it certainly doesn't have to. A page can also talk about energy that's in the atmosphere. So, Cups, that would be something emotional. Um, and then it moves into Justice, where literally it's like you're balanced here. And I also want to say, look how this person is like seeing the reflection of themselves again it feels like higher self lower self or earthly self spiritual self but look how she her sword now is balanced the cups are balanced that feels like the perfect time to usher in something new something of a dream We have the King of Cups under the devil. King of Cups, um, Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces. Could be. The Page of Cups could be the younger version of this King of Cups. We have the Two of Pentacles. All right. So, a decision. A decision to be made. You know, they call the Two of Pentacles a juggler's card. I really feel it's more about using one's logical mind. You know what I mean? Not allowing, like, not fear-based. Um, so it tells me that something is opening up and it puts the ball in your court. You're going to say yes or no to it. Yay or nay? What's it going to be? We have the Ace of Swords. You know, this is my yes card, first of all. Um, I love how she's, you can just see how she's connecting to above. Like her chakras are open. Or maybe even being activated. I definitely feel this is you connecting to your higher self, your spiritual team. And it definitely feels like guidance. You know, when we have a question here, this may answer that question. It could be a yes. Of course, it has to be your decision. But again, it is my yes card. And it is following a question. We have the Four of Pentacles. We have the King of Swords. Interesting, because the King of Swords is coming right under the Star card. And uh, King of Swords can certainly be in Aquarius, which the Star card is. Um, but also Libra. We have two Libra cards. Um, but also Gemini. I don't think we don't have any Gemini out yet. Feels like this King of Swords is coming along for the ride. And it's interesting because when I see this king, I often feel like this is someone who has climbed a mountaintop. That means they've overcome a lot. 
you know, I'm sure there were blessings along the way, but there were definitely lessons. So to me, this is someone who's reached that mountaintop. Because we have some synchronicities here, you could certainly talk about two people who, you know, had certain issues that they needed to take care of to better their own life, really. It, like, I don't feel like this king is waiting for anything. It's almost like taking a moment and just being proud of the things I have accomplished, the things that I have overcome. I in no way feel like it has to be an air sign, though. I feel like this is more about someone who may have learned like the fine art of communication you know um someone who is trusting in their own ideas their own epiphanies their own signs um you know they have an owl right there and to me that represents wisdom we have the page of swords i'm sorry oh yeah page of swords Interesting how the Page of Swords is right next to the King of Swords. We have the Page of Cups with the King of Cups. Now we have the Page of Swords with the King of Swords. Some of you may be deciding between two people. We have the Six of Swords. Okay, good. I say good because to me that means that you use that sword that justice is giving you. You cut whatever ties that were no longer serving you. You're on to what's new, what's next. Um, what really feels kind of blessed, to be honest. Six of Swords means that you, you've, you've had that realization. And it could be two people, but let's just say one right now, um, where I've had that realization of, you know, energy that really was toxic to me. Um, like, I, I don't know why I'm picking up where I could see one of these kings, and I'm saying king, it can be male or female. Um, like, I, I'll be honest, I'm not picking up good things about the king of cups. I feel like the King of Cups may be someone who keeps tempting me back. But the King of Swords, to me, feels very steady, grounded, overcome, has overcome a lot, doesn't feel sorry for themselves. You know what I mean? Instead, they feel proud of who they are. Hmm. All right, let's see what's on the bottom of the deck. Four swords, healing, beautiful. Especially with the strength card being your first um, card out. So that's kind of what I was feeling. Like you were going through, like I do feel like you've gone through this difficult period. And maybe for a while you've been in this healing process. That may be why I felt like in the hermit, a little bit of solitude. You know, I kind of pulled myself away from the world or at least. I don't know. I just get this feeling that I needed to spend some time alone. I needed to figure things out on my own. Look at that. The eight of swords underneath that. So self-created prison. But because we have four swords over that. I feel like this is that realization. The Eight of Swords, again, self-created prison. Um, this is some, and again, look at how we're seeing earthly self, our spiritual self. Like, recognizing every action that we take. Like, we're never alone. But I feel, again, this is like the higher self saying, Look at what you're doing. 
You're tying yourself up in knots. You're not facing the truth. Just face it. You will be able to overcome it. It can certainly mean I'm blocking, like I'm blocking certain energy from entering in my life. Maybe I don't feel like I'm ready yet. And then it's interesting that you have the Knight of Cups underneath that, which is an unexpected cup of fulfillment. It's love. But I feel like you have been tied up in knots over love. Yet, you're realizing that and you're allowing yourself to heal. Now, I feel like, you know, anytime a new chapter opens up and there's something, you know, of the last chapter that we need this healing. And I feel like this healing energy, it's not a one-time thing. You know what I mean? Like, we should use this energy often. Allow ourselves to heal from, you know, sometimes just from the things that didn't work out the way that we had hoped. But maybe it's because it really wasn't the best thing for you. Again, I get this feeling like this king of cups tempts you, tries to tempt you, tempt tempts you back but then i feel like this king of cups himself or herself has an issue that maybe they're unwilling to deal with and you know it's like i could see we're like you know two people together and we drank a lot that's just what we did we drank a lot um but that drinking came in between the two of us and I'm willing to stop drinking, but this king is not, you know, it feels like the king is not. Now, I'm just using drinking as an example, but that's what I feel like. This king is not ready to change the elements that really aren't serving him. Um, but, you know, sometimes people are more than happy to live in a lower vibrational energy. And there's not much we can do about that. And, you know... We're not here to fix everyone. So I feel like this king has to have these realizations on his own. But I wouldn't be surprised if you have two people coming in. And this king does feel like someone of the past. But I feel like you've grown too much to accept old energy back. At least from this king. Because this king could also be someone you already know. Um, could he be someone who reached out and communicated with you? Or is going to communicate to you? <clears throat> Excuse me. I feel like you... have had true realizations of what is holding you back in any area of your life. Doesn't mean all areas of your life need fixing. You know what I mean? Not that you need fixed. Because I feel like you're fixing yourself. Um, but then I also wouldn't be surprised if this King of Swords reaches out and you may be at home when it happens and I feel like also there'd be long conversations with this king because again I feel like this king has mastered the art of communication I definitely feel like this is someone who would get behind your dreams like your ideas and and help you bring them to life. Um, not that you need someone else to help you, but it feels like this person, you know, it just feels like this person wants, it, like, has your best interest at heart, whatever it may be. You know, even if I don't understand what you're doing, you know, like, let's say, like, what I do, like, I'm a tarot reader. Well, a lot of people don't even understand what that means. Um... But 
you know, it's like Sam doesn't really even understand it, but he gets behind me anyway. You know what I mean? So I do feel like this king is like supporting um, these ideas you have and maybe even helping in some way. Like, I feel really good about this king. Not so much about this king. This king could be someone who is flirty. Probably does drink too much. And I feel like when I'm drinking, I become extra flirty. And I feel like there's no way you like that. Because I feel like it's like flirting outwardly. You know, like not giving that attention to you, but like... So anyways, okay. I'm just not feeling good about that game. All right, let's go ahead and bring in the Gilded Tarot. And let's go deeper if we dare. Give him a cut. Introduce him into the reading. That's why I cut my cards over what's already in the table because I just want to introduce them into the reading. All right, so let's start at the beginning, but we're going to read it as a whole. <coughs> Excuse me. Hmm. We have the hangman, but in the awakened state. Look at that. This is awareness. True awareness. You know, I feel like the hangman, when it's in the upright, is really seeking wisdom. Um, you know, spiritual wisdom, but to use on this earthly plane, very much like the hermit. And you find it. This is an awakening. You know, this is where we can no longer deny the truth. The truth is the truth. Look at this, justice again, the third time. Triple Libra on the board. Coming over the hermit, but also justice. You see the synchronicities? I would not be surprised if two people are going through similar situations. It could be at different times, because I feel like this king has already reached his mountaintop. So, you know, he probably used the sword of justice already. Um, and you, I feel like you're about to, or you just recently have, and now you're going to start seeing the benefits of that. You know, with the hangman right next to justice, there's no way you can deny you know, those things in your life that do keep you living unbalanced. Because I feel like balance is the name of the game so far. All right, well, let's keep going. I do feel like some of you are going to get a telephone call. And you're going to be home when it happens. We have the Four of Swords. Look at that, another synchronicity. Four of Swords, Four of Swords. Four of Swords, first of all, is coming over the world. And it's connected to the star. There's a lot of healing going on. You know, in the Four of Swords... First of all, there's three swords 
that really are piercing the heart. But then the fourth sword is the sword that we lie upon. That's our own truth. You know what I mean? Like our own truth in in maybe love, um, just in different situations. Like, you know, being very, like, I feel like it's really getting to know who you are. Look at this, also connecting this King of Swords to the Four of Swords. Also mirroring the world with the star in between. Four of Swords. What you were overcoming is that Eight of Swords. So really freeing yourself. And I feel like that Knight of Cups, that unexpected cup of fulfillment, it's still going to come in. But I feel like this has been a process. And it's it's like your spiritual team is helping you to get ready. I have to tell you, I feel like this is going to be a good time in your life. Um, after maybe not such a great time. I know one thing, you're being more honest with, with yourself than you've ever been. You're using that sword of justice and you're cutting those ties to whoever, whatever is just getting in your way. I feel like, um, I feel like this King of Cups, sorry, King of Cups. I just, I, I can't find good energy around you right now. Um, but I feel like that's part of what you yourself is overcoming. All right. We have the four pentacles over this king. And then we have the queen of wands over the two of pentacles. Well, again, queen of wands over that two of pentacles where a question is being posed to you, you know, yes or no. Queen of wands is the queen of action. This is someone who really trusts her intuition. Listen, I feel like if you cut ties with someone who, again, I feel like, you know, they have issues. They have issues, and I'm not putting them down because I feel like some of the issues you may have also had, but I feel like you, you're you overcoming them. You see them. You're being really truthful with yourself. Um, it, You know, you're... you're you're moving into this state of awareness. And I feel like that is a blessing. But I feel like you're moving into that because of your because of your own action steps that you've taken. Four of Pentacles. Coming over this king. So Four Pentacles can certainly talk about a home. Some of you, this could be someone you were living with. Um, but I, I have to tell you, by the way, two fours, 44. Um, it could be some who have a master number 44. So, you know, if you have a master number, and this is something I'm thinking of doing is life path number readings. Um, just to give you a little bit more info so um if you don't if you don't know what your life path is uh there are free life path calculators and all you do is enter in your your birth date and it'll tell you what your life path is um your personal year number what you're going to do is add up your birth month and the day you were born and add that to whatever the universal year number is which is an eight this year um, but anyways, what was I saying? Um, so to me, the four pentacles can also be very resistant type of energy, like resistant to change, resistant to 
realizations that maybe I need some help, but I don't mean you, I mean this king. Um, and, you know, I do have a feeling for some of you, you could have two people. You know, you, this king, I feel like, may reach out and communicate in some way. And this king, you know, just doesn't want to see you happy. This king to me feels like, like if you said to me, if I said to this king, like you really need to think about like what you're doing in your life and, you know, how you're hurting yourself and that I feel like this king would be like, I see nothing wrong with what I'm doing. I see nothing wrong within my life. And that's where that resistance is. You know, and it is kind of like this king is like, you accept me. It's interesting because accept me for who I am, right? But yeah, they don't accept you for who you are. So do I feel like this is who is, first of all, I do find in a lot of readings I do, right? When you're about to receive something that I feel is going to be life changing. And I do feel like it's through another person. Um, again, someone reaching out with some type of communication. And for some of you, I do feel like you're at home when it happens. Um, I wouldn't be surprised if, like, this king is like, whoa, wait a minute. You know, she's mine. But, that, but that's not the truth. So, where does the toxicity lie within the Six of Swords? I can't help but think it's a king. And I feel like with the Queen of Wands now coming out over this question, you know, and there's, you know, two pentacles here. Well, we have two kings here. Again, male or female, by the way. But this is, the Queen of Wands is definitely someone who trusts her intuition. She is not a fear-based energy. She moves according to her passions, her desires. Now, that may have not always been the case. It may have been, you know, it's how I have evolved. Again, my intuition is on fire, but maybe it's through the Hermit's energy that I really learned about this, right? That I could really feel spiritual guidance. So I feel like if this king shows up again, very quickly, I do feel like you're going to say no way. No way, Jose. And you may not even know this other king exists yet. Okay, I feel like that, usually my role on um, the table is a card has to come out for me to take it. But just the way this card was hanging on the deck, I feel like it wanted to come out. So we'll see. We have, look at this, King Cups again. And then we have the Five of Cups. Hmm. Five of Cups can certainly talk about. Well, first of all, it's emotional. Um, it can talk about missing someone. The Five of Cups ask you to ask yourself, what are you focusing on? Are you focusing on the cups that have been knocked over? You know, the danger within that energy is it can turn in, in into woe is me. And then not, you know, then I'm not proactive in that energy. Five does stand for change. And it's interesting the King of Cups comes out again. Um, because I feel like the King of Cups is what has me, like, focusing on, you know, the cups have been knocked over. Like, you know, the difficult things in my life. But... What does the Five of Cups really talk about? First of all, five. So change, right? So it's asking you just to consider where your focus is at. 
Now, this person, when they do that, and they say to themselves, you know what? I'm not going to keep thinking about the past. I'm not going to keep allowing the past to hurt me. I'm going to move on. I'm going to again use that sword of justice. And I'm going to cut these old ties. And and I don't feel like this is a situation or um, an answer you came to lightly. Like, I feel like this is something that you considered long and hard. But again, I feel like this King of Cups just is who he is. And I don't feel like, uh, you know, first of all, I don't feel like it's your job to help heal this person. I don't feel like they want healed. I don't feel like they feel like they need healed. So what lies after this change in the five of cups, two cups right behind this person? To me, that's soulmate energy. Definitely feels like that's what brought you down to your knees. I feel like this king has been playing mind games with you. You know, and you know what else is interesting? <clears throat> Though, I, I really don't like talking about myself. I can see this energy um, as an experience I went through. And what I'm talking about is, um, you know, the person I'm with now, many of you already know, is someone I was with when I was a teenager. Hence, maybe the pages, right? Um, and then we split up long, you know, there was a lot that went around that, but we split up. Um, we were still teenagers and then I lived my life. He lived his life. He got married. I got married. I was, I got divorced. He got divorced. And then I was in a relationship for almost 25 years. And, um, there was nothing wrong with this person. This person was really you know, deep down a good person and we remain friends. Um, but we did break up. Um, it just felt like there was no love left. You know what I mean? So I did leave, um, got myself my own apartment and I have to say I was feeling good about life. But then I had this weak moment where I literally reached out and called this king and as I was taught, and I was going to invite this king over to my house, but then my call waiting beeped. And when I answered it, it was Sam from my teenage years, 40 some years later. I should do the math, really. It might have been 50 years. Um, he's on my call waiting. And that just blew my mind. And it was while I was having this weak moment, almost inviting, you know, I don't, I don't want to call my ex the devil back in, but, it, you know, it is like calling back in this lower vibration. But then right in the nick of time, it's like divine stepped in and my call waiting kicked in and there was the love of my life on the other line on the other end. And that's the reason why I'm telling you this is because I feel that in the five of cups where I could have these weak moments, but I need to be really honest with myself, you know, because let's say I do have this weakness for this king and I do go back. I have a feeling then you probably have repeated the same type of energy with this king. So, we have the Four of Cups. Interesting. Interesting that this will follow the Five of Cups. <laughs> and here's why I find it interesting. By the way, three fours, 444. Um, you know, that's an angel number. And 
I feel like what it's telling you is you're on the right path. You just got to keep going, keep moving. Four of Cups talks about discontentment, boredom in one's life. Um, and I do feel like it's relating back to the Five of Cups. But I want you to notice what's coming in. A cup. And it definitely feels like it's coming from the heavens. So, divinely ordered, so to speak. This is what sits behind the Five of Cups. When I, I'm not focusing on the things that have gone wrong or, you know, when I'm no longer interested in trying to try to fix someone, you know, who's more than happy to live the way they are. When I decide that enough is enough, here comes this cup. And let's not forget, we saw the Knight of Cups. It was hidden, just as I feel like it was meant to be. So here is this cup. And the Four of Cups really ask you to use your spiritual discernment relating to whether I accept it or I don't. But listen, it's coming from the heavens, coming right over this king of swords who I already felt was someone special. And I do find it interesting because I feel like, again, I may have been wrapped around this king of cups for so long <clears throat> that it's hard for me to recognize something or someone good who comes into my life. How do I know you're going to be any different than the rest? Give me a chance. That's all I ask for is a chance. And because I feel like now we are talking about soulmate energy. Um, what was I going to say? Oh, I definitely feel like if this is you connecting with someone new, even if they're old, but new. And I'm not, and again, not this king, though he may make a repeat appearance. I feel like, I, I just feel confident you're going to say no. We have the full. It's a new beginning, my dear. It's a new beginning. This asks you to take a leap of faith. You know, the fool puts the past in the past, extracts the wisdom. Really trust within their spiritual team. Allowing oneself to have a new beginning. You know, that's just part of life. Chapters open, chapters close. You know, it's like your life is a good book. I don't want to leave it stuck on this bad chapter. I want it, I want it to move to a good chapter. And then we have the page of cups over the six of swords. So if I had any doubt that this king of cups was being eclipsed out, now I have none. I feel like the page of cups, first of all, we have two pages of cups with the hangman in the awakened state. So really being truthful and honest with oneself. If there's been someone who's just like had you on the hook, who's living in a lower vibrational energy, I do feel like even though it does, I do feel the difficulty in it, you know, um, and I do find it interesting, like, if you just think back in your own life, like, I think back into, like, my marriage, you know what I mean? I got married at 19. What was I thinking? What was I thinking, right? I wasn't thinking. I didn't know better then. Now I do. And when you know better, you do better. Thank you, Oprah. I think it was Oprah that said that. And that's exactly what it feels like. Like, now you're doing better. 
you know, the hangman in the awakened state, it's, it's, it's like blessing, but I feel like it, it's also, you know, when it's in the awakened state, anything that is not good for you is also illuminated, but it is to help you. And I feel like because you yourself have overcome something that doesn't feel easy, I'm going to be honest with you. Um, that's why I feel like this King of Cups is no good for you. And again, forget about the sign. I just feel like it's someone who is not going to evolve. Why would I? I'm more than happy living the life I'm living. Well, good for you. But it's not good for me any longer. All right, let's go right below. You know how much I don't like this king right now? I feel like this king would even, let's say, let's say you had a drinking problem. Let's say the, the two of you drank a lot and you quit. I could definitely see this king like calling you and be like, hey, let's go out for a drink. Well, I quit drinking. Uh, let's just, come on, let's just go have a drink. Like, trying to pull you back into elements that you have cleared. Just don't allow it. Understand that it's coming from a lower vibrational energy. You know, not everyone in this earth wants to evolve. We have the chariot. Card of Cancer. This really speaks about unlimited potential. This is the balance of the feminine and the masculine, the light and the dark. That's really what allows this chariot to be unlimited, right? Because I'm familiar with both my light and my dark. I'm familiar with both the masculine and the feminine within me. The chariot is really driven by your intentions. Remember that. Because when it talks about unlimited potential, again, it's your intentions that make it unlimited, like make it unlimitable, or is that a word? And, you know, it's coming over the Ace of Swords, but it's mirroring the, the awakened hangman. This is an interesting reading. We have the strength card again. I feel like... You know, we saw it twice. But I feel like we saw it more than that. We have the seven of wands. Seven of Wands is about standing your ground. And with the Strength card coming out right before it, that could be a conversation with the King of Cups. Like, no, I'm not going backwards. And by the way, I feel like you've given this King every opportunity. Um, but should some people we cannot control. We have the King of Wands. Interesting, he's in reverse. He's mirroring the devil. Interesting, because we have the Queen of Wands right here. I feel like the King of Wands and the King of Cups is the same person. <laughs> because I, <clears throat> excuse me, because I feel like you're eliminating the King of Cups, so to speak. And with the King of Wands in reverse, I feel like there's no action. So again, if the King of Cups tries to make a repeat appearance, 
I feel like there won't be any action behind Like, you know, I may tell you, I may promise you the world, but deliver none, right? And I may try it again, but I don't feel like it works any longer. I feel like their charm has worn off, at least for you. Look at this, the Ten of Wands in reverse. Beautiful. You know, Ten of Wands, first of all, if you just look at the image, it's like he's, he's carrying all the wands on his own. All the weight, maybe of a relationship, all on my shoulders. This can talk about a period of time where just felt like there were a lot of responsibilities. Um, you know, it's not an easy time, that's for sure. But I feel like one of the things you're realizing is, you know, if this is talking about love at all. Well, it, even in life, it, it's got to be fair, right? It's got to be like a two-way street, especially a relationship. Like, I don't want to carry the responsibility of whether we stay together or not, trying to fix every single problem. And that's why it's reversed. You're saying no way. Been there, done that. I have no interest in returning. I feel like I eliminate this king. I eliminate the hardship. I'm willing to step into the fool's energy which is also kind of related back to the world, right? A new beginning, one chapter ending. So a new chapter begins. It's just the way life is. Um, but I feel like you have every reason to look forward and not a lot of reasons to look back. All right. Um... I'm going to look at a couple things and then I am going to bring out the romance angels. Um, I want to concentrate more on this king down here. With that five of swords, but in reverse. That makes me feel good. That means this person doesn't carry toxicity. You know, it, it feels like I don't need to worry here. I don't need to worry. The high priestess, your intuition. Trust it above all. <clears throat> Especially as this cup comes towards you. You know, trusting your intuition, whether, you know, again, trusting your spiritual discernment. Do I say yes? Do I say no? But this king, to me, first of all, I feel like carries healing type of energy. You know, like if I was going to give myself a title, and I'm talking as the king, I would say I'm more of a healer. I'm a lover, not a fighter. Hello, Destiny. That means the wheel is turning. That means that you're entering into a destined time. And, you know, I'm looking at the King of Swords. Um, but I'm not thinking about the sign again. I'm just thinking about someone who I feel like has overcome a lot. Someone who has reached their own mountaintop. And um, it just feels like 
the wheel now coming out. It feels like divine timing. You know, here's the thing about Tarot. And this is why people like short readings, because they want to get right to the good stuff, right? But I feel like if there's certain elements that we don't look at, we don't deal with, then, are, you know, that's why I don't like short little tarot readings. Because I feel like you need to understand how to get to the ultimate destination, let's say. But destiny, right next to the full. So the willingness to take a leap of faith. I feel like that five of swords coming in reverse is saying, you know, it's it's giving your heart a little comfort knowing that this king does not carry toxicity in his heart. I feel like this cup that's being offered, I feel like it's real. It's true. I'm not going to say it's automatically like love. But I feel like that's exactly where it would go. I wouldn't be surprised if some of you felt like some discomfort, you know, within change. And I feel like the reason why is, you know, let's remember your guides are here to help you. So sometimes, you know, they can make you feel uncomfortable so that you do make the changes necessary so that you can live out this destiny you know that just feels like it was meant to happen and it just feels like the right time so only good things with the king of swords only bad things with the king of cups it's just the way i'm picking it up okay so let's pick this up and let's bring in let's bring in the romance angels by the way i know i'm talking a lot about love but i also want you to understand like how your guides are proud proud of you and how you yourself have evolved, especially around people who had no interest in evolving, but you did. You did. And it doesn't even have to mean a spiritual thing. It's just, you know, you said to yourself, like, there's got to be more, right? This is not the life that I want to live. Um, but yet, I feel like your guides are helping you every step of the way. And I get why, you know, sometimes it is good to take some time out. Allow yourself to heal from the past. Understand your own self within it, though. You know what I mean? Because, again, the, the hangman in the awakened state, it's it illuminates everything for you. But... To, to help you. Okay. But anyways, let's get into the romance angels. That didn't take long at all. We have honeymoon. Enjoy the bliss of holiday time together. And then we have calling in your soulmate. Well, let's not forget. We have the star right under the world. So the star, first of all, it's your major arcana. But it's about your hopes, your dreams, your wishes. But it's about manifesting them. Right? It's not just thinking about them. Like, I want to I want to manifest. You know, maybe I want to manifest true love. Calling in a soulmate. Right in the Five of Cups, there's a soulmate. That's awaiting. Your prayers, affirmations, and visual, visualizations help bring you together. Your prayers, your affirmations, your visualizations. I don't know why I can't say that word. Help bring you two together. So 
Someone from your past is returning to your life. So that does make me feel because we have the Page of Swords right next to the King of Swords. Younger, current, past, current. <clears throat> um, it makes me feel like you know this person. And, you know, just because I spoke about my own experiences, sometimes when I do that, I feel like that's because you may be going through something very similar. So, again, I feel like your phone may ring. I do feel like you're going to be at home. I'm saying the phone. I get it. Like, not everybody uses a phone. It could be a text. Some of you may get it right when you're watching this reading. Uh, because I feel like it's going to happen soon. And I feel like that's what the honeymoon is talking about. You know, holiday season. Well, we're getting ready to move into the holiday season. So, you know, within the next couple months, I feel like you're going to start seeing these changes. I think the thing to ask yourself is where are you at on the board right now? So you're calling in a soulmate. And literally, here they come. Here they come. Engagement. Honeymoon to engagement. Your love life is ascending to a higher level of commitment. Getting to know each other. As you reveal your innermost selves to each other, your bond deepens. You know, it's interesting because, again, I don't want to talk about myself, but even though Sam and I were together as teenagers, we didn't know each other as adults. So we did have to get to know each other. Um, and many of you know, like we, like I lived in a different state. I lived in Rhode Island. He was in Pennsylvania. So it was long distance. Um, but we spent five years just getting to know each other again on the phone. Hmm. Phone. Past life relationship. Um, that doesn't surprise me because... This is a soulmate energy, so you probably have had, you probably were together before. Well, you have known each other before. And then we have retreat. It's time to disconnect from the world. Look at this image. I kind of love this image because I feel like this is someone who's like walking with their dad, but I don't feel like this is, I don't feel like their dad, or let's just say someone, I feel like they're walking with a spiritual guide, and it's like they're talking, discussing, am I on the right path, I feel like it's comfort, I feel like this is also letting some of you know that um, I feel like saying like good old dad, but it can be like big brother type energy or just someone I feel like that you've known in this lifetime. I feel like is now a guide of yours. And they may be stepping forward as it relates to your love life. So, wow. calling in your soulmate well it's working because I feel like your soulmate's going to arrive again it can be very unexpected let's not forget about that knight of cups unexpected first you free yourself from you though you know that's a big part of it like freeing yourself and then that feels like the right time you know what I mean because things happening in the right time 
I don't feel like this is far off, guys. I just don't. And um, I do feel like, you know, it's interesting that this is all coming over the King of Swords, where I do feel like this is someone who, again, has learned that fine art of communication. I feel like it's, it would be very, hmm, what's the word I want to say? Um, I don't feel like they hold anything back from you. They may even fall in love with you very quickly and utter those words. And that could scare you. But I don't think it would stop you. So you've known each other before, past life relationships. Your love life is ascending to a higher level of commitment. Well, I feel like that's where the King of Cups, you know, committing. Yeah, you know, he might have said, yeah, we're in a relationship, but he still did things his way. And I feel like it didn't work out for, you know, it just no longer good for you. And why? Because you yourself, um, you're ascending. Your energy is ascending. And therefore, what comes towards you, you know, it, think of the law of attraction. You know, if I've cleared this past energy and I could still be in the healing process because I do feel like soulmates really do help heal like those broken little pieces. But listen, I feel like this to me, it feels like once I connect with this king of swords, then I feel like the king of cups, the energy I feel like it's just going to go away. Like, you're not going to think about that king anymore. He may think about you. Because I feel like, and I'm talking about the king cups. I know they can get confusing. Um, again, doesn't have to be a water sign, though. Um, because, I, again, I just feel like this is someone who wants to live life according to their terms. And maybe you try to fix them, but to no avail, but I don't feel like that was your job anyway. So release that burden, at least. All right, let's take Mother Mary over this reading once more. It's like you've come so far. Um, and you you are moving into a destined time. And I kind of love that when you see the world also. And to me, again, the world is when your spirituality is really alive. You know, it's like where I here I felt like you're walking with good old dad you know, looking for comfort, looking for answers. I definitely feel like you're finding them um, because you're open to them. That's why you're more open than you've ever been before. And everything feels like it's evolving in your life, not just love. The love feels like it's a big part of it. You are evolving. So, so like I was saying, the law of attraction, it must meet you right where you're at. And because you are in the awakened state, that tells me anything that's coming towards you is going to be of a, a high vibration. Oh, I was going to take Mother Mary. Hmm, sobriety. It doesn't surprise me because I feel like that's what the King of Cups is dealing with. Well, I don't know that he's dealing with it, but maybe you had been. My clear mind is easily able to focus and concentrate. Sobriety. Listen, if you yourself have sobriety, don't allow anyone else to try to pull you back to something that you've worked so hard to overcome. And then we have quiet. Quiet. I go into peaceful silence and I listen. 
I go into peaceful silence and I listen. It means you're being guided. It means your quiet mind is easily able to receive these this spiritual guidance. I feel like you've been through hell and now I feel like you're stepping into heaven. But I feel like you deserve it all. You know, don't beat yourself up for the things or, you know, sometimes I feel like when I see sobriety, like I understand it because sometimes we do feel like we need a helping hand to overcome certain situations. Um, but, but truth be told, does it not only make it worse the next day? You know what I mean? It's like, okay, I still have the same problems, but now I have a hangover. You know, or, you know, I was doing really well, but because, um, let's say I was drinking, um, you know, I didn't show up at my job like I should have. So I feel like, I feel like you've come a long way and don't allow anybody to pull you back. I don't feel that you would, but I feel like that's what Mother Mary wants you just to understand. Like, you know, that's life. There's always going to be people trying to pull us back into lower vibrational energy, but that doesn't mean you have to go. And as this relates to love, same thing. Like, I feel like your heart will know. Your soul will know for sure. But then the earthly mind, the earthly heart has to catch up. All right. I think I'm going to leave it there, guys. Um, you know, I feel like I could go on and on and on. I really do. I feel like I could go on and on. Um, but then the reading would be too long. Um, we'll see. When I do your December readings, we'll see. We'll see how this plays out. But I feel like... I just feel like this is a new life. I feel like this is you claiming your power again. You know, you're being gentle, but also powerful. The strength card everywhere, like what you've overcome, the balance that you've found by using the sword of justice. You know, and again, justice is about making you whole again. But I also have to say... I could see where, and I often find this with soulmates, um, especially through personal readings, where we connect, like we connect at the right time. Again, the wheel is connected right to them, right? So this is destiny. Now, does it mean I have to, then I, it means I have to go that direction? No. Right? Because the ball was always put in your court. You say yes or no. But I do want to say, like, if you're hung up on someone who has not been treating you well, and you're hoping there will be change, I don't feel that. To be honest with you, I feel like you would just repeat. It would just be the same, same old, same old. Yet, I feel like who's coming in feels so completely different. They themselves had their own issues. They themselves have overcome them. They themselves may have had to use the sword of justice and cut ties to someone. And if you know who this person is, I have a feeling that you're on their mind a lot lately. And who knows, you might just like start thinking about them like out of the blue. And it's because they're thinking about you. Again, I feel like it's them reaching out to you. 
What do you do, what do you do when they come for you? Well, everything around this king is great, right? It's telling you that commitment rises to a new level, maybe a level that you've never experienced before. You know, past life relationship, yes. Because you are soulmates. To me, it's very clear. And it makes sense that each each had to learn, you know, their own lessons. Because as soulmates, <clears throat> I do feel like sometimes we're able to plant those seeds before we even come into this lifetime. But what we want to remember is as souls, we come here individually to learn like our individual lessons. And that's why I feel like sometimes, you know, I had someone, um, I hope you don't mind, but they left a comment and they were 63, which is still younger than me. Um, is it too late? And I, and I thought to myself, no, it's actually the perfect time, right? Because at that age, you know who you are. You know what you want. You know what you don't want. Because you've been there, done that. Um, and I'm only saying that because, you know, you could be 23 and have gone through a lot. You know, by the time I hit 30, it's like, man, I had been, I had been through hell and back. Um, but it, it compared, my life compares, there's nothing to compare it to of the past except that I'm with the person from my teenage years. But you know what? A friend of mine told me, and I don't remember saying this, that when Sam and I first went out, I said to her, someday I'm going to marry that guy. And it doesn't even sound like me, but she said that. Um, but it, he's someone who has lived in my heart my whole life. Did I expect us to get back together? Never. No. I mean, we were living in two different places. Didn't even think about it. But then lo and behold, it happened. And everything changed. And the only time I talk about myself is when I feel that some of you are going through similar experiences. I don't know. I just feel very proud of you. I feel very proud of you. I feel like those who try to pull you down, good luck. I don't feel like they can do that any longer. I feel like you are living in truth. You are truth. And I demand truth. You know, like, I don't want to have to guess. You're either honest or you're not. You're either faithful or you're not. But that's the things that you were figuring out. Now we're moving into a destined time with a destined person. And I feel like that's why we're seeing the synchronicities. Because I would not be surprised through these, what I feel like are going to be long, deep, probably romantic discussions you're going to be like, oh, yeah, I went through that. How did you handle it? Oh, I went through that also. And I feel like that's what you're going to be talking about, like the similarities that you have. But then I also feel like you're going to help really heal those last broken pieces. And I feel like whatever was, again, that lower vibrational energy, it's being eclipsed out and I feel like it's just gone. Like, I feel like it'll just be gone. And it's interesting who we give our time to. You know what I mean? But this is what we're learning. Like, don't beat yourself up. This is what we're learning. And some want to learn, some don't. But I feel like you do. You did. 
you have. And now you're on to this destined time in your life where I would just say, be ready for the unexpected and just be open and trust your own intuition. Trust your guides. Because again, you are being guided here. And they're guiding you to your destiny anyway. So it's like they're helping you to fulfill a soul's wish. And again, those seeds may have been planted before we even came into this lifetime. You learn your lessons, I'll learn mine, and then let's get together around this time in our lives. All right. I could go, I, I swear I could just go on and on and on. Um, <clears throat> something I'm going to start doing, and I'm going to practice. I do need to practice it. I am going to do it on YouTube, though, is automatic writing. I feel it within me. I've had so many people tell me lately that I should be doing it. And it's something that I felt for such a long time that I am going to do it. And um, I hope you you guys don't mind, but I'm going to do it on my channel and just see how it goes. If it goes if it goes well, then we'll just continue. If it doesn't, okay, now I know. Um, so, anyways, I just want to let you know that. And and you know what brought that to my mind is I was about to do it before I did your reading, and love was on my mind, and I was just gonna to see what came out. But instead I thought, no, I'm going to do Aquarius this reading and then we'll do that afterwards. So I'll let you know because it'll probably have something to also do with you since I literally just did your reading. Um, but I'm going to stop talking now. I love you guys. I really do. Um, and that's why I say pay attention to everything, right? Like the things that you have to overcome the things that you've been through, don't beat yourself up, right? It's what's giving you that growth. Like without some of these hard situations, I maybe I wouldn't be the person I am today. And I feel like this is about you being proud of who you are. To hell with the rest. Be proud of you. And as you awaken, let the universe surprise you. You know, it's like your soul won't be surprised. Your earthly being will be surprised. But in the best of ways. All right, guys. I love you. I thank you. I swear to God, I could just go on and on and on. And I know some of you are going to be like, Sandy, go on and on and on. <clears throat> I will do that one day. I have done that before where I've done like whole decks. Um, but yeah, we'll let this be. I love you. Thank you. I thank you for all the ways you support this channel. Your donations really is what keeps this channel alive. So thank you. Um, so much gratitude for that. Sharing the videos. Um, because, you know, when I do a video, all I can do is release it and hope and pray that it finds who it needs to find. But I do trust that our spiritual teams will put a reading before you if you're meant to hear it. You know what I mean? Like um, something will make you click on it. And again, I hope you asked your guys for confirmation. Um, if not, you can always go back and watch it with those asking for confirmation. You know, whatever you want to do. Anyways, um, I thank you. I love you. I'll see you next time at our table. Bye-bye.